I wonder what it does. Well, it's recording. So anyway, like we were saying, we have this Irish thing today. So uh, back to geography. So, uh, let's always see my Is it working? That's our UK. That's our Ireland, not to scale. Yeah. What were we talking about? Crazy languages. Which one do we start Irish. with? This one? We start with the small uh -huh. one, uh, Shores of America. So it's like the beginning. Then, if we have time, we will read Kill Kelly, which is like what happens next. So, uh, what happens? Uh, we spoke about uh, Irish language and whether people use it. And uh, I was saying that uh, I haven't really studied it, but I would think that if you want to say I'm Irish, I'm not British, it's important for me then you would use your own language, you would uh, not use uh, English language. Yeah. And uh, the relationship between Ireland and uh, England yeah, is, uh, what was it? You can tell me. Was it a happy uh, marriage? No, no, not very well. Yeah. Conflict, uh, uh -huh. for years. Yeah, lots and lots of conflicts because uh, the Irish want Ireland to be Irish and not British. They want to have independence. Uh -huh. To be independent from uh -huh. uh, Great Britain. Yeah, because what happened? You fight. Have, you have England sitting here. They fight for it. Fighting, yes. Uh -huh. They continue for... Uh -huh. Yeah, no cares. for a long, long time. Yes. Yeah, because uh, England here sits on, uh, I'm the boss. I take Wales, I take Scotland, I do what I like, I take Ireland, and I treat people like dirt in Ireland, in Scotland too, in Ireland, in Wales too. And uh, what happened, uh, lots of really horrible things happened in Wales and Scotland uh, about Ireland. It was not a happy place to live. Not at all. Uh, do, do you know the song The Fields of Athen Roy? It's a very, very famous song. Which one? Oh, the Fields of Athen Roy. Only for all Lang Syne. Okay, uh, Fields of Athen Roy. Uh, can tell you very uh, precisely what was going on in Ireland. Uh, people would be arrested for anything at all. So in the song it says like, ah, I took a, a bit of corn from the field because I had no food and my children were dying. So I took a little bit of uh, corn from the field to uh, feed my uh, children and now they sent me to Australia as a slave for this a big crime. So you didn't have a job, you didn't have money, you didn't have food, you didn't have anything. Yeah. So uh, it, it was only natural that lots and lots of people. And in Australia they learned about the boomerang and mm -hmm. now the, this country is the goodest country in the world. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ireland is a good yep. country number yep. one. Yeah, so and the USA and Russia are at the bottom of the list. Yeah. Well, they all went to the United States. Okay, that's the USA. It doesn't look like the USA. Yes, yes, <laughs> the beginning of that. <laughs> Florida, vice versa, upside down. Florida, upside down. Okay. So Why Mexico is so big? Where is Mexico? Mexico. Okay. Mexico. Okay. Okay. Not to scale. <laughs> it's absolutely. Okay. It's very okay. absolutely. <laughs> I love scale. Yeah. But actually, uh, Irish have been moving to America even from Ireland, which is independent from the UK. Yeah. It's oh. a country that has a lot of problems and uh -huh. has had for many years now for uh -huh. decades. So uh, if we think about uh, the United States of America, who are the people living there? Lots and lots of them are and they Irish. Are the people Irish from all over the world, now, from yeah. all over uh -huh. Europe, from, from everywhere. Yeah. From yeah. all over the world, really. From Russia, there are a lot. 
Chinese community, China, Vietnamese, yeah, India. But the Irish community in the 20th century was very important. So uh, uh, again, I haven't really studied the statistics, but I know that lots and 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 lots, a few Titanics, uh, a few hundred of Titanics of Irish people went to America. But of course, it left its trace in poetry. There was this marvelous film, Brooklyn, with uh, Sir Ronan, and uh, I think it actually <laughs> describes everything that happens in these two poems, but in the 20th century. Very beautiful one. Okay, so uh, Irish people go to America, some of them stay, some of them go, and uh, different things happen to them, obviously because we have lots of people. So let's start with uh, Shores of America. Let's let's read it. Let's read it all together. See what happens. Okay, reading. Let's read it aloud with me. I'm bidding farewell to the land of my youth and the home I loved so well and the mountains so grand in my own native land. I'm bidding them all farewell. With an aging heart, I'll bid them adieu. Tomorrow I'll sail far away, or the raging foam for to seek a home on the shores of America. It's not for the want of employment and going. It's not for the want of fame that fortune bright might shine over me and give me a glorious name. No, it's not for the want of employment I'm going on the various stormy sea, but to seek a home for my own true love on the shores of America. And when I am bidding my last farewell, the tears like rain will blind to think of my friends in my own native land and the home I'm leaving behind. But if I should die on a foreign land and be buried so far, far away, no fond mother's tears will be shed o'er my grave on the shores of Mary Kay. What can you tell me about this little poem? How do you feel about it? Is it a happy poem? Very rainy. Very rainy. Uh-huh. the song. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel? Do you feel it's an optimistic poem or a pessimistic poem or something else maybe? What is it? More pessimistic? Also there is hope. There is hope. Mm -hmm. So what happens here? How are, what are your feelings in it? Sad. Sad? Mm -hmm. he Departing he with he one's he own land. So uh, how do you feel when you leave your native land, you leave your home, you leave your language, your people, your friends, you go to a strange place far, far away, over the ocean, and you have no idea what's waiting for you there. How do you feel? Scared. Scared. Mm -hmm. scared. Frightened, not scared, frightened. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes uh, people think, ah, oh, maybe but I'll be lucky. But there is a line, but to seek a home for my own true love. Yes. And uh, how can you notice this line? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of lines here. It's very important. Uh -huh. It is important. Okay, so why do we say Shores of America, not just Shores of America? That's What's the way Irish, Irish pronounce, pronounce America. Uh, it's, it's for the song, uh -huh. for the singer. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What do you think? Why do you say Mary Kay? Like Mary Kay? Mary Kay, yeah. <laughs> My, the name of the lion on the ship. Uh -huh. It's Mary Kay. It's very it's famous name. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you really. I'm trying very hard to hear you. Oh, 
Why do we say America? I think that uh, the man wants to maintain his roots uh -huh. uh, about his uh -huh. uh, native part of uh -huh. uh, country. Uh -huh. So that's why he used this one. Yeah, that's what I feel. I, I think if, if you need to go to that strange place and you want to pretend you're the boss, then at least you can give it a stupid name. I know, I will not well. call you America, I will call you America. Because uh, I'm the boss. Of the I, uh, Irish may I ask way, you the yeah. question about mm -hmm. the Irish uh, origin mm -hmm. of the word uh, something with K at the end? Mm -hmm. Are they? I'm not I haven't studied <laughs> Irish. I only study Welsh. It's, uh, I'm it's sorry. For us. Welsh is a it's bit different. For us I guess. Thing. I can explore this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So uh, our words for today are I'm bidding farewell to the land of my youth and the home I loved so well. So uh, we start with uh, memory, we start with the beginning. We don't just say I'm bidding farewell to my land. To the land of my youth. It means you want, if you want to go there, you want to cancel all your connections, to cut all your connections to your native land. You start with the beginning, your childhood memories. If you say the uh, land of my youth means you have this lifelong connection, it's hard for you to leave. Yeah. The home I loved so well. Like, oh, it's my home, I love it, I love it. But interesting, uh, interesting. Hmm? I have one more question. Yes. Why do you think that uh, the author is a man? <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Maybe matter. a woman. Maybe a woman. <laughs> Maybe a woman. <laughs> yeah, uh, does it change uh, greatly if you think it's a man or if it's a woman or if it's uh, someone abstract? Uh -huh. So what happens if it's a man? It's rather a man. Uh, because women rarely take uh, important decision, uh, as important as uh, changing their country. This line, my true love, my own true love, maybe she comes to the American she future. Comes. Ah, so it's man. She, no. Oh, she, it's girl, a woman she leaves, because she's she crying. leaves for America to, to meet her future husband. Ah, then, uh, yes. Or a man going to meet his future girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, I've read it yeah. Only once, you know. <laughs> Just now, the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very mysterious line, really. Uh, what's interesting? I'm bidding farewell. What is the word farewell? Uh, it's uh, wish. Uh, um, uh -huh. Departing for a no, no, let's ask Margo. Margo, what is the translation of the word bid? Bid, it's like bid good night, bid farewell, like say wish. But yeah. it's, uh, yeah. well, the, you, you use the, the, subtle, words, like, uh, the subtle definition. Bid, <laughs> like, uh, I'm bidding you. Yeah. Oh, please, please. So, but uh, it's, it's normal to say I bid you good night, I bid you goodbye. Yeah. Uh, now, usually we use it with like farewell. It's a position. Uh -huh. So, what is farewell? Begging, begging. Yeah, begging. begging. I, uh, I wish you, I tell you, uh, uh -huh. I wish you, fa I say farewell. What is farewell? Uh, it's two words. It's a good words. trip. Uh, uh -huh. Really like it uh -huh. there. Uh, yeah. over so, there. that's two words. Really, it's three words. Yeah. Three? It's it's three. Yes. Fair, fair. The, these you. Oh. Wow. Well. Uh -huh. Fair is like uh, have a good uh, destiny, have a good fate. Yeah. Good riddance. No, it's like I wish you a good no, no, destiny. I, yeah. yes. I wish you a good destiny. Uh, if he's saying farewell and not goodbye mm -hmm. to all his. Uh, a landscape around him, but maybe at the same time he's uh, talking to him herself. They are farewell, farewell, fare me well too. 
difficult, it's very important, and you have absolutely no idea what's waiting for you there. Yeah. Nevertheless, you wish that that land mm -hmm. you leave uh, were happier, were yes. wealthier, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. better. Because we repeat it, I'll bid farewell, bid farewell. The home I loved so well. So if he's in the land of my youth and the home, again it means that he spent all his life uh, there. Yeah, it's his home. And the mountain is so grand in my own native land, I'm bidding them all farewell. Now why do we talk about mountains? <laughs> we have a lot of mountains in Ireland. <laughs> More hills. Yeah, well, uh, Britain is a very flat place, well, yes, really. Right, right. Great big mountains. Maybe he uh, and his impression of uh, visiting uh -huh. uh, one of the mountains uh, uh -huh. somewhere uh -huh. uh, made him uh, think uh -huh. about that impression, require that uh, strong impression, uh -huh. strong feeling uh -huh. of that uh, top uh, he wears in his mind. Uh -huh. Maybe he was a child and was uh, yes. uh, brought, uh, uh -huh. yes, uh, with and now we have there. mountains in Ireland. New geographical discovery. <laughs> Great mountains in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe not in Scotland. Ireland. There are mountains. Maybe yeah, in, in Wales or in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is somewhere. Uh, yeah, but but it, it, it was also his native land. What are the highest mountains? Like Snowdon, Snowdon. In, in, in Wales, Wales and uh, Highlands. Ben, in Highlands, Ben, uh, ben Nevis. Ben Nevis. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful place. I really love it. Then there is in Scotland. What's the third one? Is three of them. And number three somewhere, but oh, they're not really high, really. I think it's to show uh, the grandeur, the, the uh -huh. meaning of uh, this uh, uh -huh. country to him, uh -huh. significant. Yes. Because it's as big as Mount uh -huh. for him. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So if you first say about your youth, you talk about your childhood, something nice little. Personal. Mm -hmm. Now you say not only it's my personal home, not only I'm connected with it uh, in this nice uh, childish way, but also it's uh, not only as big as a mountain, it's grand, it's stable, yeah. ancient, it's important, yeah. ancient. If you say, oh, we have great mountains, and that's uh, yeah, that's the only description you have here of his land. So his land is like a great mountain to him. And what do we know about mountains? But uh, Ireland and uh, uh -huh. Great Britain, they are islands. And uh -huh. the cliffs uh -huh. are very... Uh, yeah, but well, that's cliffs, not mountains. The cliffs, yes. Uh -huh. uh, all the land, yes, surrounded by water, and it is like a big mountain. Uh -huh. It's a grand mountain. I think maybe... Seven sisters and... Uh, uh -huh. uh, Islands, uh, small yeah, isles that's everywhere, that's yeah, small isle, isle of sky and isle of man. Yeah, that's isle of sky. Uh, yeah. Maybe he wants to show that it's very solid uh -huh. and where he's sailing to, he doesn't know, it's uh -huh. a bit vague, uh -huh. maybe like moving, yes, uh -huh. but this is something firm, solid, uh -huh. like my home is my castle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so maybe he means to say not only I'm living uh, a good childhood, uh, childhood memories, also uh, that's a place of my power. Like mountain is something like I said, the big stable. My power. I'm living it behind. I have no firm ground uh, beneath my feet now, because I'm going into the unknown. Yeah. But he's not I, sure I, I, where there are mountains in America. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I'm there is no home about like him anymore. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like I'm ready to, to leave all. all. Yeah. I'm ready to leave everything. All my uh, power, all my memories, all that makes me Connections, myself. Yeah. My personality, my identity. I'm leaving my identity. It's a very serious step to leave your identity behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is one. Oh, like this cord that they uh -huh. cut when yeah, the child exactly. is born, uh, he he feels uh -huh. it in uh -huh. this song. That's exactly. literally what he's going through. Uh -huh. An aching heart. I'll bid them at you. And now, uh, again, I aching uh, heart. We talk about feelings. 
and how it's hard. Okay, it's not very imaginative maybe, but still mechanic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But now enough farewell, adieu. Adieu is another nice word. What's adieu? So it's a fair way to say Huh? Why do you say adieu? Maybe it's a bit more playful. I mean, huh? to be the adieu, like, like hey. Adieu. Is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is, is, aren't there two words, though? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. what, what does it mean? Adieu. adieu. To God. To God. To God, yeah. To God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, wish you good best to me and, and the same uh, to book, God. Yes. Uh -huh. At the same time, adieu is not exactly an Irish word, is it? No. It's rather French. Yeah, it's French. It's like, uh, maybe it means that uh, he's already 